I think we are about live now. Well, welcome. I'm glad you st you stopped by for my little party here. We've got a lot of things planned for you. But uh, I'll start off just by playing a tune. So I'll play this one. I call this Bells for Marcel. Hey, John Wise. Oh, John's here. Great. L.A. Jim. And thank you, Brian, behind the camera. So. <laughs> All right, here's the bells for Marcel. somebody turns another decade you know we have this great big party and so this is you're you're the uh, the invites now to my party this is the way we're doing it this year and so really appreciate you stopping by and it's also my uncle's birthday so i want to say a happy birthday to uncle lee and uh, dan's birthday today uh, any other birthdays uh, if it's your birthday uh, give us a text let us know uh vicky this was recently vicky genson was vicky recently. genson was recently jack pearson jack pearson was just a couple days ago and uh, in fact chad atkins and les paul uh, both have birthdays around this time and paul mccartney has a birthday around this time uh tomorrow i guess it's his birthday as well uh, Michael and Noel both are having birthdays here and I want to do a shout out to Mary Flowers uh, her live stream was just before mine she's a uh, yeah, great uh, player and wonderful person so uh, and also Sally who's been hosting a lot of these live streams and uh, helping with publicity on these things as well as Gail we'll give her a shout and um, of course um, Pamela, who's been helping me for so many years. I'll do a song for Pamela, in fact. Uh, so this is one I wrote for her. I call it Lady Pamela, and that's what she prefers to be called. She's a lady.
Oh, that was Lady Pamela. Uh, so thank you, Pamela, for uh, all that you do here. Uh, that was in Dad Gad, no? In Dad Gad, Dad Gad tuning. And uh, if you're interested in that, uh, it's a, it's a great tuning to compose it, especially. Uh, I've, I've got a little uh, tutorial on, on t uh, how to compose in, in Dad Gad tuning. And you can do this on a regular guitar. You don't need the extra sub basses. And it's just tuned D A D G A D. And in that tuning, you know, wonderful thing happens is that all the open strings sound good all of a sudden, and uh, you know, just it, just the open strings sound Celtic. You, know, it's, you can write an, an Irish tune there very easily. And if you notice anything on the second sounds good, and anything on the fourth fret sounds good. So you can play anything on the second or fourth frets. Sounds right, and so um, and it even works. Uh, anything on the fourth or the fifth fret or open string. You can anything you want to do there, and it all sounds good. And so it's uh, it's a fun place to start when you're composing. And I get into that in a little more depth in my uh, True Fire courses. So if you want to. Uh, Oh, in fact, and um, your channel. on the channel, and the ch I've got a new channel, and we can give you seven days free. Um, we've got a, a special link uh, put together, uh, everything, all the links on one page. So if you want to go to murielanderson.com slash now, uh, there's links to that. You Links to the channel, you can check it out, uh, and also seven days free. Just a little gift. So I think the gifts should, should go both ways on birthdays, don't you? And... Well, I've, I've got actually a brand new tune to play for you, but before I do that, I wanted to uh, go in into the other room and show you a couple of other things. Also show you around this place a bit. This is where Brian and I spend the summers, and he got this from this little um, hut. <laughs> hut? <laughs> hut? It's two rooms. Bite your tongue, a hut. Yes, uh, two rooms and a big porch around. Uh, it's a shack. Rooms, it's, yes, it's a shack, yes. But not a hut. Yes. Uh, but uh, this is uh, from his grandparents and built in 1909. Uh, so let's go this way. I'll show you. Um, so this is the kitchen, and this is where I cooked the baklava right here. And um, so Brian has actually added indoor plumbing uh -huh. i'm so happy about that well it's almost indoors it's on the porch okay that's close enough right and um then uh, most of the house is porch so the porch goes around and this is where we have our dinners and spend most of our time outside uh, so um, beautiful salt air here and let me show you a little now this is the outside of the house. I took this earlier today, and uh, it's uh, 1909 it was built, so the kitchen shortly thereafter, and you see we're holding the oven closed with that mallet, and this is actually yesterday as I was making the baklava. I just thought we'd give you a little run through of the baklava that we're we're going to be having and sharing uh, some of you'll be winning a piece of this we'll send to you uh, don't worry everything's very sanitary despite how old this kitchen is and uh, how cobbled together it is so uh, one wonderful thing about this baklava it's got uh, honey there uh, oh pay no attention to that uh, lemon falling into the honey I think I've got to do just a whole video of cooking bloopers I'm really no Rachel Ray there uh, all the trial and error here. Well, you know, I'm a guitar player. You know, I just love really good food, like this baklava. So here we're going to be pouring that honey that's now nice and liquid after sitting on the hot stove, and that will all go over that nice baklava. Uh, very healthy, and this is what we're going to be serving. And some of you will get to share this with me. I'll be raffling off a few pieces of that. This is my birthday 10 years ago. Uh, you may recognize a couple of the people there, Seymour Duncan and James Burton, Brad and Allie from True Fire, Tierra Negra, Leo and Rauji from there. And this is 20 years ago now um, at Les Paul's show. So um, 
right about my birthday time, 20 years ago, and uh, celebrated out there with uh, Les at his Monday night uh, show at the Iridium. So a wonderful person to know and uh, great inspiration, uh, Les was. And miss him there. He uh, certainly did a lot for the music, the world of music for us, didn't he? And we'll celebrate his birthday as well here. And uh, here is what we've been working on for the last year is Acoustic Chef. That's the cookbook with music for each recipe from around the world. And oh, and Brian is lighting a whole bunch of candles. Holy smokes. That's a lot of candles. This is going to take him a long time to light all those. I hope he doesn't, doesn't burn the house down. But in the meantime, uh, I want to uh, show you around here. And this is the living room through there. And that's where we play. And then outside here, this is the lyrics for the song, that the, the two songs actually that I wrote. So uh, the two songs are finished up. We're going quickly by the dishes that need to be washed and, and into here. And that is uh, the little ladder goes up to the attic. And that's where uh, we sleep up there in the attic and then out the window this is the best part so this uh, little cottage is on a boardwalk so brian owns the little cottage but not the not the ground underneath it actually that's owned by the, the community and so it's a delightful place to be where we live very very simply a lot of rice and beans and when brian catches a fish we uh we eat well okay this is this is a lot of candles. Holy smokes. Okay. Ah! I thought you said you were 40. <laughs> well, I'm one of those decades. You know, I think uh, well, uh, everyone knows already, but we'll pretend like they don't. I've got to make a good wish here. Get, get in position. All right, here, I'll, Thank you. I'll have you light the last candle. So we have the candles lit. Uh, on a covering so that the wax doesn't get all over the baklava by the time I blow it out. Let's see, okay. You can all sing now. Okay, ready? Here we go. Hang on, hang on. Let's I gotta get... hyperventilate a little bit. Okay. Wanna make a good wish here? Okay. Well, she gave it a good effort, didn't she? She gave it a good effort. Boy, I have to hold my hair there. So, whoa, you know, that's the most candles I've ever had on a birthday cake. All right, but underneath we have uh, the beautiful baklava that uh, we made. Free of wax, there. free yes. of candle wax. And uh, Brian, do you have your your phone so you can find out our winners? Okay, Pam is going to be texting our winners. And we have, uh, we're going to, you see, we have several places set. Uh, we are going to send one to Lady Pamela here. We're going to serve her up a dish and mail it to her. We're going to serve up one to Tom, mail it to him. And we're going to send one to Gail. So just uh, great friends. Uh, and then we have a few more uh, name tags that's, that we need to add. So uh, let's see, who's going to be the next one here? We'll add. Uh, do we have a don't winner? Have yet, so well, we don't have them yet. On. So, uh, Brian, you can hang on to this, and I will. Let's go back and play the... some songs. And I'll, are you gonna... I will cut the baklava. Ah, you've got it spun around again. All right. Some peace here. And let's, let's go back and play some music. Okay, we'll play a couple tunes and then we will add some more play settings to the baklava. All right. Make sure I don't have any honey on my hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's do a song here. 
This is for the Amarabli family, if they're watching. And a song that I wrote for them um, as a, a thank you gift for their great hospitality. I call this the Amarabli Waltz. Waltz. Thank you so much. So that was a wonderful time touring in Italy, and uh, I have some great news. As, you know, as you know, that uh, all concerts have been canceled. You know, from now seemingly to the end of my life. And just today, I got notice that I have one concert coming up. Normally, I have like thirty or forty concerts, you know, on the uh, on the calendar. And so finally, the first one came through. So we will be going to Zurich in uh, March. And in the meantime, I want to thank all of you who have uh, been contributing. There is a tip jar, so we're going way back to the olden days where we used to put a tip jar out, for, out front. And uh, we really, uh, I've really appreciated your, uh, uh, your contributions. So uh, live streams is, uh, is how we've been making a living. And so uh, it's, it's great. So uh, we have, uh, but today we're going to do it both ways. We'll have some gifts for you as well. And uh, they're all listed on that uh, website if you want to check that out, murielanderson.com slash now. So we've got the seven days free from True Fire and also some free sheet music. So we talked about learning some tunes. Um, and uh, there's uh, you can have your choice of any of the tunes uh, if you use the coupon code GIFT. And that gives you $5 off, which gives you any tune. Or you can take $5 off anything in the shop. Uh, so we're... Uh, in fact, going to raffle off some of those things, so do send us an email. I'll show you what, what that is. Uh, Muriel at murielanderson.com. Put your mailing address there. And um, so if you want the CDs, you can put CDs or, or all if you want anything. And there's a, a big gift pack. We're going to raffle off uh, each of the uh, 
the things in the gift bag. And so um, we'll have some gifts for you as well. So including Acoustic Chef, and that's what the, uh, the baklava recipe comes, comes from. And the, uh, the hardcover just came in, so we're really excited about that. And so this is what we had for dinner the other night. And Don't forget to tell them about the CD that's in there. Oh, yes. And the most important part is there's music that goes to every recipe. And uh, so that was uh, Amarabili Waltz that I just played for you. That, of course, went to the eggplant parmesan that I learned to make uh, there in Italy. So it's a wonderful time, and wonderful culinary experience. Also... So I guess I could uh, open one gift we have a little bit later on, and uh, this is in a, a different tuning now. Uh, I've got to change uh, uh, tuning entirely. Brian, do you have a story you can tell while I'm changing tuning? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. So when I was a kid, I've got a brother and a sister. We were all right in a row age-wise, and I was the oldest, and... Uh, when I was about eight, and my brother and my sister and I decided to throw a surprise party for my mom. Now we as kids roamed all over the place, and we knew we knew everybody in the street. We knew the kids, we knew the parents, and so we invited all these parents, assuming that they knew my mom and my mom knew them, and of course they didn't. And uh, but they were charming and they came over and we put them in the basement and then my mom came home figured out quickly there was something weird going on and there were people in the basement and she was immediately horrified because the basement was rack and wet cave crickets and junk and mildew and all this kind of stuff and so she brings them up into the house which also was a wreck because my both my parents worked so again she's mortified and we as kids had planned this surprise party Pretty much around the surprise, which certainly it was, and um, I had nothing else planned—no coffee, no cake, nothing. So my poor mom, who had just come home from work, is now running around trying to make coffee and quick clean crap up that she doesn't want them to see, and we don't, you know, even think about that. And of course, everyone was very nice and brought little gifts and all this sort of thing. And she, <laughs> wait, the torture my poor mom survived with us. Wow. <laughs> That's a great party. Surprise! Yeah, surprise, yeah. <laughs> yeah there's, well, there's always something that goes wrong. Well, just now I had this great video that I had all, all prepared and it ran out of battery. So that's why, yeah. I, I, so I don't know, I had it all charged up, but it ran out of battery. So maybe towards the end we can plug it back in and, and, uh, and, and try that again. So. Uh, but maybe before it gets too late, I I want to uh, play you that uh, the new tune that I wrote, and then I'll open a gift, okay? So it's kind of a strange time to be having a significant birthday, <laughs> you know, a strange time in, in history. And um, I have had, you know, not just a creative lag but just I, I just haven't been able to compose anything for a long time and finally just the other day uh, I was sitting out in the sunshine and finally something came to me and just thinking about uh, all the changes going on you know what things are going to uh, come back what things are going to stay you know I, I feel like kind of an old fuddy-duddy you know thinking all oh, the good old days like last February <laughs> and, and uh, so that backdrop, uh, I wrote this tune, and I call it Changes.
strangers Every droplet in the stream Leaps and frolics as it flows to unknown seas Let me be the stream The droplet in the stream Sides completely right, no one's immune to changes. See a dandelion seed once a blossom now lifts into the wind. Let me be a seed. Simple as a smile, let me be a seed. Love's as simple as a smile, let me be a seed. Some lead to better things and some not yet defined. But love is never far behind, cause that's the way of time. Love is never far behind, that's the way of time. Somebody, oh. somebody asked where the tip jar is. Oh, I hope you like that. Oh, the tip jar is uh, located. Uh, actually, there's a link on the same page, uh, murielanderson.com slash now. Uh, you can also go to um, uh, my website, Muriel Anderson, uh, under uh, gifts. And that's that'll lead you to four different ways. So you can do a, a PayPal, uh, Muriel Guitar, that's a PayPal one and Venmo or if you want to mail something uh, it's the mailman has a hard time finding this place it's it's not on a street it's on a boardwalk so we're giving you uh, an address where you can send it to Pam and she'll make sure that I get it if you want to send a card or something and uh, there's also our regular uh, link where you can do anything by credit card so uh, much the, appreciated so thank you for asking but the main link was main link is murielanderson.com slash now and that has uh, links for everything, for the gifts for you, uh, for the tip jar, and in case you forget the address to, to send uh, to win some baklava uh, or CDs. And then so you can go ahead and send to there. So, Brian, are you getting some, uh, uh, some winners coming in, just texting in yet? Yeah, I just want to confirm with Pam. Okay, good. So we have a couple of gifts. I hope you like that song. It's uh, this is the really a premiere. Uh, I did it on my weekly YouTube live, or is it a weekly Facebook live? So uh, I've started doing this. Uh, both Chet Atkins and Les Paul used to play every Monday night. So in honor of them, I thought I'd do an every Monday night Facebook uh, short spot. So uh, it's at the same time, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'll just give a little update there. So I have a gift here from my sister, my little sister, you know, 
you know, I get my best performing clothes for, for my sister. When she throws them in the dryer and they get too small for her, they just fit me. <laughs> so I'm hoping that's what it is. Oh, this is, oh, better yet, this, this looks brand new. This is not, uh, yeah, it's a lovely, uh, lovely slacks. You know, it reminds me of when I was asked, it's funny, this brings up a, a memory. I was asked to play at the Perry Como Golf Tournament. Uh, Chet Atkins was one of the invited guests, and he told me that he wanted to play some new things from his album that just came out with Mark Knopfler. And he didn't want to hire his band. He said, well, I, 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 uh, I'd have to pay them if I had them come, but I know you'd do it for free, wouldn't you? And I said, oh, yeah, of course. So <laughs> I got to go and uh, accompany Chet. And uh, before going on stage, he came up and said, you know, I got these new pants that need to be hemmed. You're a girl. Um, here's a needle and thread. Can you hem these pants? And I said, sure. And so I, I figured I better do a really good job. So the first one I, I worked, you know, really hard and, you know, got got the hem, did the little double stitching and everything. And then the second, second one, I was feeling a little more confident and I went and cut it and realized I had cut on the hem line instead of the cut line. And so I'm, like trying to make the world's smallest hem and, and, and stitch that up and it was getting all bunchy and one leg was shorter than the other. So uh, Chet came and you know, saw this <laughs> terrible looking hem job and, and he said, well, it's a good thing I have another pair of pants. And, well, he never asked me to do any seamstress work after that, uh, but uh, but we did uh, play the show together and that was, was really fun. Um, after working so hard on uh, working at Mark Knopfler's parts, just before going on stage, Chet said, you know, uh, I've changed my mind. My guitar's not sounding good. Well, let's do this other song. And, and it, it changes keys every verse, and it, it goes kind of like this. And, you know, just ten minutes before, uh, he showed it to me, and then there we were on stage playing a tune I'd never played before. <laughs> and it went, went easily. I mean, Chet was just such a, a great performer, player, and, and, and lead that uh, could tell exactly where he was going. It sounded like we had practiced it, so uh, it's a testament to his musicianship. Okay. I have, yes, I have three, have three baklava. Three baklava winners. Okay. Tom Napoli. Tom Napoli. Okay. We're going to write his name on the place uh, place setting. Okay. Kathy Sapel or Sapo. I'm not sure how do you say Sapel. that. Kathy, sorry. And then okay. Michael Pennell. And Michael Pennell. Okay. Great. All right, we will write those three names on uh, on the placemats and make a special setting for you. For you. And then uh, we've got some mailing, special mailing containers, and we will send them in the mail to you. And I'm still waiting so, for names on the other things. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll do the other things later. Um, so should we do another tune, Brian? Or ah, uh, sure. I think that's a great idea. Okay, I'll do another tune. The the requester of Velzo's Garden says, well, you haven't played that in a while. I would settle for two shores if you had it in your heart to do that. Oh, okay. I could do either one of those, I guess. I'll, I'll do those a little later when my tuning is is uh, appropriate for that. So this is in the same tuning as uh, a tune that uses the super treble. So this, this instrument here is a... Um, carbon fiber harp guitar so it's great in this uh, high humidity we have here it's built by emerald and uh, i normally play a, a bruner uh, foldable harp guitar or a mike doolin but this has been great for the high humidity and the uh, bruner uh, super trebles so, uh, actually attach and if you're interested in these they he i just heard from him yesterday he's got another batch of super trebles that he's uh, getting ready to send out. So uh, I've got the link for that if you're interested in the Super Troubles on that same page, slash now, Mary Landerson slash now. So I'll play a little bit of it so you can kind of hear the trebles.
Beautiful. Oh, it's fun to play around on those super travels a bit. Um, let's see. Brian has a, a couple of gifts here. Do you want, did you want me to open it? Well, there's a whole pile there. I'll just give you this little. This one here. Okay, so. It's a card that says, Happy birthday, love, with a, a sailboat. I bet it's a sailboat. Let me see. Oh, no. It, uh, it says, uh, he is getting me a master class. The Master from which class. I will make you an amazing dinner. Oh, a cooking master class. No, it's all of them. All the master classes. Oh, wow. So that is is really interesting. This is a time to learn new things, and that's uh, and especially so. Brian, not only am I going to get this master class, but you're actually going to cook some things from the master class. Yes, I will. Oh, now that is a super present. Okay, because we've been having so much fun with the Acoustic Chef um, and getting that together and making the, the recipes from that from all around the world. And, and uh, it'll be great to have some new and interesting recipes. So, um, for making a, writing a cookbook, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a very primitive cook, you know, so it'll be great to learn some things. So everything in the cookbook is really easy to make, actually, so that's the advantage. But, uh, let's do a little bluegrass medley, and we'll put it in the video. steel string harp guitar. I didn't huh. realize I, uh, I always play that on nylon string. So it's a different sound. So Somebody just said Igor Stravinsky was born on this day in 18 oh, something, 1887 or something. Okay. Brian, we're uh, well, okay. Well, this one, excuse me, stepping in front of the camera. This one you requested at some point and it goes with the whole. Oh, 
Well, I won't even say. It feels like a bowling ball. So. Yeah. With the name Homer on it. Yeah. Yeah. Since I don't bowl, I know someone who would <laughs> like it. <laughs> <laughs> nice old bowling ball. Yes. So it's heavy. And. This is in keeping with the culinary thing. Oh, I know what it is. A mortar and pestle. Yes. So it's a lovely one. Thank you. You had requested that at one point. Yes, I had. So it's nice to have a real one. And uh, that comes in handy for making some really yummy things. We made uh, steak chimichurri tonight from that. Mm -hmm. Nice to, to do that with a real mortar and pestle. So thank you. Okay. Now you've got to play another song. Okay. So I have to play another. Song. Maybe two shorts. Two shorts. Okay.
Thank you. Yeah, two shores, just like we are on the uh, south shore of Long Island, looking across at another shore. So I always think about the, that, and uh, I also think about, you know, how nice it will be to travel again, to go across to other oh. shores, and see people again. So looking forward to those times ahead. Yeah. Gee. Yeah. And uh, so uh, thank you for the, the comments coming in, and thank you for the contributions. Uh, much appreciated. And, uh, I had promised I'd do another uh, new song. So this is one that I started writing a long time ago and finally finished up just a, uh, a week ago, I guess. And so, so I think that finally I'm hitting the stride again, and we'll start to be composing more things. So this will be the year of the year I'll be a better person and a better composer and uh, and I'll also have a master class that means I'll be a better chef. <laughs> There's a lot of things in that master yeah. class. So this one is called Stem the Rising Tide. Brand new song.
songs, oh. and I uh, also want to mention. Do we uh, have the names for the rest of the uh, items? The, the names, yeah, we'll we'll pull uh, pull those those gifts as well. Oh, gee. But let me give uh, take a couple of names for these. So this is from the uh, the gift pack, and so um, the winner of the Nightlight Daylight, the CD that lights up, is what's the first winner on there? Dennis Rick. Dennis Rick. Okay, congratulations, Dennis. And winner of uh, Hometown Live. Mary Francis. Mary Francis. Okay, that's a very nice sound quality on that one. Uh, Arioso from Paris, recorded in Paris, all pretty music to listen to in the evening. It's either La Jimmy or L.A. Jimmy, I'm not sure which. L.A. Jimmy, okay. Let's go with L.A., but uh, let's, okay. it's spelled La. And then... Uh, Dot Lemma. Tierra, this is the one with Tierra Negra. Uh, my great friends, Leo and Raji from Tierra Negra, and I recorded the New World Flamenco, and that is... Dot Lemma. Dot Lemma, okay, great. And Arioso... Kevin. I'm sorry, this is heart, heartstrings. <laughs> heartstrings is Kevin. Kevin Ake. Okay. I'm guessing how that pronunciation okay, and goes. Guitarscape Planet. Michael Johansson. Michael Johansson. And the crown jewel of Acoustic Chef. Stephen Lifflin. Stephen Lifflin, one Acoustic Chef. So this is also something I'm offering just at this time um, for a short period of time. The, the whole stack is, is we're offering it. If you, if you didn't win one of these, for almost the same price as, to, as the uh, first and the last items themselves, so we're just doing that special for for the birthday week. And uh, okay, do I do I get one? Thing? Okay. I kind of like presents. <laughs> Excuse me, walking in front of them. All right. Oh, here's a simple little one. It's sticking with the food. Theme. Okay, so. The, the birthday equivalent of a stocking stuffer. Oh, the, my favorite, Lint 100%. Now, uh, I uh, used to have a sweet tooth before I went off sugar for a year in college, and now my favorite is, uh, I went to 99%, and now I'm up to 100% chocolate. That's like the, the real stuff. I mean, you can really tell the chocolate. That's my favorite. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. And we've had hellos from Australia and oh. Hank Shure and Tokyo and oh, Hank Shure. California and all, all right. over. Right, let's get back together again, Hank Shure. Right? Yeah, wonderful. So and California too, and so. And are you planning to play a song? Yes. Okay. Let's have a song. All right. And, uh, oh, you know we should do View from Space. Oh yeah. Actually, if you want to learn the technique for this, I, 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 I do teach this on the True Fire, uh, course, True Fire channel, and you've got seven days free, so you've got seven days to learn it, so go ahead and uh, go to that link. And where do they find that link? Uh, that's murielanderson.com slash now. And if I tune this up a little bit. Dayton, Ohio is here.
So there's a little debate going on in the comments about the time signature of that piece. Is the time signature just this piece is nine eight time? Ah, uh -huh, you got it right. One two three four five six seven eight nine, and that's uh, a little group of three harmonics in a, in a row coming up, and then groups of two coming back down. Somebody guessed nine. Yes, so Agreed. nine eight is correct. Yeah. Good. What does he win? <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, actually, we are going to have uh, one more raffle for those of you who are watching this uh, on the replay. So if you're not watching this live, if you're uh, watching it now uh, after the fact, we are still doing a mystery uh, winner. And we'll win either a piece of baklava or uh, one of the CDs or DVDs or books. Uh, so it'll be a, a surprise. And yeah, like a surprise party, <laughs> <laughs> just like Brian's surprise party. Uh, My mother would have preferred baklava to what she got. Yes. And uh, we're, we're going to continue doing some more of these live streams. So if you'd like to subscribe to the YouTube channel, if you haven't done that already, and hit the little bell, then you'll know when I'm doing something live. I don't do them that often, you know, about once a month, something like this, so you won't get a lot of notices. And uh, if you want to, some little quick live streams, you can tune in on Monday on the Facebook page. That's, that's the Facebook uh, Muriel Guitar page. And, uh, and then uh, do, uh, do become a long-term friend. Uh, send us an email and, and say hi. And we do appreciate the gifts as well. So I'll, I'll finish off uh, with a tune that was inspired by the very baklava that we are <laughs> eating. And then we'll, we're going to just walk back. It'll be dark there, so it'll be, uh, we'll have to tiptoe back. And we're just going to write the names uh, of the winners on the little baklava sheets and you don't, you don't have to bore enjoy some baklava. That, though, yeah, so you don't have to join us for that. We're just going to uh, be doing that and enjoying our baklava. So uh, any other words popping in there? Anything oh. from Pam? Say, say hi. Uh, yeah. I think Bunny Barnes was the one who got the who guessed the correct time signature. If I oh, had it I right, Bunny Barnes. Okay, so maybe we'll have to set, send him something. Is that him or her? I have no idea. I would guess a her, but her. I have no okay. idea. Bunny Weather was the guy, of course. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me for my party here. Uh, it makes it special for me. And uh, you can probably guess what decade I'm turning. <laughs> Maybe I'll, uh, for those watching the replay, I'll, I'll, I'll post a, a little picture from 10 years ago and a little picture from 20 years ago. And uh, I'm just pretending that you don't already know. I know you already know, but uh, it's more fun that way. For those of you who guessed 30, you're, 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 we'll send you a gift. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get extra kudos for guessing 30, right? Hey, Shiv Preet. Oh, Shiv Preet is there. Greetings to Shiv Preet. He guessed 20, so he gets it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's angling for a good prize. Yeah, we did a um, wonderful recording together. I'm looking forward to doing some more uh, Indian vocals and, and guitar and harp guitar together. So that's a fun combination. So, thank you again. This is a little baker's dozen.
happy birthdays to you all. Anyone who's having a birthday this year, um, that's all for you. <laughs> and uh, please, uh, I'm going to be continuing these live streams, and I'm also doing just a, every Monday night uh, Facebook Live, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, just a little update, uh, Facebook Live. So. Look forward to seeing you uh, along the road. Seeing you for real along the road. That would be, be great and appreciate your friendship. And uh, let's keep in touch. And let's have baklava. <laughs>